go. I'm in Austin, Texas with Nike Basketball for a special event with Kevin Durant. Uh, Kevin's shoe actually just launched the KD9, and today we're gonna go around Austin. From what I understand, I don't know for sure, but we're gonna go around Austin and see some of the stuff that actually KD likes, and I'll get to talk to KD, and I'll get to talk to Leo Chang as well, and of course, I wanted to make sure I brought you guys along with me. So with that said, uh, I'm gonna go put on my shoes, and we're gonna go check out KD and Austin. to the Olympics and getting a chance to, you know, break them out and you know, not worrying about once the media comes in there, I got to take them off and practice and you know, all that stuff that comes with it. But, you know, really ready to launch this thing, man. And, you know, it's been, uh, it's been great for me so far. Why, why is Flynet important to you as a player? Oh, well, just the fit, you know. I'm, I'm big on fit. My foot is a little different from everybody else's. You know, I got a flat foot with, like, wide edges. Like, it's crazy <laughs> my foot is. So I just felt like um, flying it, 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 it feels custom made. I feel like it wraps around my foot perfectly like an ace bandage when I put it on. And uh, then I have the zoom bag that gives me a little bounce and a little move. See the difference between the toe bag and the midfoot. Like, this is able for So I play on my toes a lot, so when I raise up the shoe, I'm still on my toes without, you know, and this part being, all of this is off the ground while my toes, you know, you know, it feels like I'm flexing my foot. So it allows me to be a little bit more flexible and a little bit more, you know, bouncing and, and, and you know, like stick and move a little bit more than I, I did in, in the past. And a question that I always, that people always want to know is like, how involved were you with the design process? And I'm like, when did you come in? When did, like, when is that conversation with you and Leo? Like, all right, for the KD9, this is what I want. It just happens. We don't have a date where we're just going to sit and talk about <laughs> right. KD, right. you know, or the KD10. We just, it just happens, you know. I might say he might send me a picture at nine o'clock at night of of uh, uh, the newest bands or or the right. newest, you know, the, the newest fear of God, you know, uh, you know, season or you know, I might send right. him a picture of anything, a new car, and we kind of like go from there. And we like how how the color of the color transitions from the hood to the back of the car or you know how this is how this is moving so quickly and smoothly in this picture like we look at all that stuff man that's just that's just a creative process and i'm yeah. just happy i'm a part of it all that's tough. um during your interview earlier you mentioned that you were like you wanted to make a shoe for hoopers mm -hmm. like how, how important is that like the outside to the inside game how important is that to you um I, I, mean, I targeted the kid that loves to play outside. It feels like they're just like the most versatile player. They can rebound, bring the ball up the court, post up, shoot the three, make the dime, take a charge outside, everything. So I catered that shoe to the guy that's just like super cocky, super arrogant, that feels that they can do just about anything. And you know that's why I wanted. To, that's where I wanted to go with it. And I and I feel like every hooper, when they throw their shoe on, they can feel like they can do just about anything on the court. And mentally, when you look, when you feel like you got a shoe that can that can you know handle all of that stuff, then physically, you know, your body's gonna follow. Now I know you're nine years in, and it's not like if this is your first shoe, but like, what does it mean to just like have your own signature shoe? It's uh, still still weird to me, you know. Uh, you know, I remember I was talking to Kyrie last year, and he had just come off his first shoe. And I was like, man, how does it feel, really? And he was just like, man, they on my second one already, man. I'm just so excited. And I was like, that was the same feeling I get every year. And, uh, you know, so to know that you got something that's yours, that you work with for so long, just to have you know, so much equity built up in the shoe game, it's just like, 
nobody else can reach that. So if you just get in the shoe and you're on your second one, you don't, you can't, you ain't gonna feel how I feel because I'm on nine. Right, <laughs> right, right. So once you hit past six or seven, you're like, I'm a vet in this now. Yeah. So I feel great. Well, um, two two questions. La first one, when um, Leo talked about like how your family is so important to you and like that's been a bar part of like your signature shoes for a long time. Like how important to you is it that you have that, that background, that foundation behind you like incorporated into something like your shoe? It feels good, man. When you just got so many different personalities that help you, help mold you into who you are, help form your like identity almost, you know, and socially and fashion wise as well. You know, just having that, all of that help, you know, it just gives you another push. And then you add Leo, who's someone who's in the loop with everything, who's mm -hmm. just artistic already. He kind of opened me up to a lot of stuff that I didn't know I was interested in. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? And so that's just, that just, that shows how much the game of basketball brings everyone together. And it also expands your mind. Some, some people like me, my mind, I don't just instantly wake up and think about how I can create something like this. I need a flicker, and that's what Leo brings. That's what Leo brings. So, uh, last question. Um, I'm all star in my rec league, and I was hoping you could petition for me to make the USA basketball team. I don't know who you need to talk to. I'm just saying I made the all star team. I'm like shooting 50%. Is there anybody you can refer me to? To get uh -uh. an application process, maybe I can put in. Do I need? Do Sorry, I send a highlight man. video to somebody or man, nothing? No. I wish I had a watch on. I would say about this time, <laughs> no. about this time <laughs> in your life, man. It's, it's looking like a long shot. But still keep working. <laughs> keep working. All right, thank you, man. All Appreciate right, man. it, Katie. Appreciate it. Yo, what up guys? So day two here in Austin. Just got dressed in uh, the KD gear we got, even have on the KD9. So we're about to go University of Texas, work out with KD's trainer, so let's go. So super sunny out here. We're, uh, it's warm. University of Texas is about to go get on this court and put in some work, or at least I hope I'm about to put in some work. Gregory Gymnasium at the University of Texas, where we're gonna do, looks like we're about to do a full workout. You know, again, the example that he sets uh, both on and off the court, and you can't overstate the impact that he has on young people, uh, both on current players, prospective players, uh, it's, it's so important. And uh, again, we just really, really appreciate that relationship and appreciate um, you know, him being such a great ambassador for Texas. So we just had a quick run in the KD9. My team, we went one, two, lost one. Should have won that last one, but we got some questionable calls from Coach Smart. I'm gonna blame it on the ref for that one. Kind of hurt us in the end, but we did pretty good. As far as the KD9 goes, Pretty soft. Obviously, this is just my first time doing some quick training and running in them. I mean, I'm, yeah, running a game in them. But they're pretty soft. The zoom is definitely cushy. Definitely keeps you locked in. The fly knit is great on top of your foot. So, first thoughts approved. Good. It's competitive here. I love it. I just wanted to give you a first look at Nike's technically first laceless shoe. I know we all think about the Air Mag when we think about laceless shoes. I have a very, very special guest, uh, Mr. Leo Chang, who is the designer of this shoe, which is the KD9. Yes, you guys have seen it before, 